wish me luck. I'm taking my bedroom furniture to Camp Needlebuck. It's all wrapped up on this little trailer. I gotta drive three hours with it on it. It's pretty sturdy, it ain't, it ain't budging. But, there are a lot of assholes on the road. So she's all set. I'm gonna put the Tundra on tow mode. And I am out of here. I drove an hour on the Cross Bronx Expressway. It's a four mile strip. It took me an hour to clear the Bronx. And, and it was just horrible, horrible. New York is horrible for traffic. Look at the back there. I'm glad I went during the day because I had to stop two times In already. 5.6 miles. Continue on I-87 North, New York Thruway, Albany. Watch out, object on road ahead. Oh, those are my favorite things on the road, or objects. All right, so so it's um, I'm on the Thruway, so I should be there in about two hours. And it looks like I made it, but I had to get out and adjust the straps. They loosened up, they stretched. Some straps are new. I didn't know they could stretch, but look at them, look at them vibrating back then. get back to driving before a state trooper sees me. Well, yeah, no, it's, it's holding up. Fingers crossed. Angelo's behind me. He's going to be uh, coming up about two hours after I get there. I said, if you find the jet, if you find the dresser or a chest on the floor, pick it up and bring it up to camp. Because if something falls off, I'm not stopping. I'm just going to keep barreling up. Holy crap, I made it. I made it. And there's the rain. I gotta get this in. So I uh I backed up the furniture. I backed up the trailer. Look at this, perfect. So it's like a ramp. I'm gonna go right in with this. So maybe I could do it by myself. Let's see. Got everything in except this bed. This bed it's it's not that it's heavy, it's just bulky to grab. I can't grab it by myself. I got it in this far, but let me show you what I did to my room. So I got everything in with the dolly. Here's the room. So now I got a dresser. I didn't uncover it because I got to take this bed out. I have a sled bed. And I'm going to put it under the bed. I'm going to put the bed there with a nightstand there. So I got this dresser and this high dresser over there. And there's the rest of the bed and there's a nightstand. So, I was going to buy bedroom furniture up here, but I said I bought it for my house. I figure it's get new bedroom set at home and take the old one and bring it up here. It's hot, man. But uh, I got it in. They're pretty heavy. It's all wood pieces. But uh, little by little, I got it in. And I thought it was going to rain. It got really cloudy and it didn't rain, but better safe than sorry. This this stuff would have gotten soaked. And it it's not made out of press board or anything, but it would have gotten soaked if it rains. Through the magic of editing, it's a couple months after now. It's, it sat, it sat in my room for a couple months. So now, as you can see, change the curtains. Here's the pieces that I bought from my old bedroom. It looks nice. I just got to change that end table; it don't match. So you know, the room looks a lot bigger, especially with these curtains. Uh, changed with the lighter curtains in here but this is it the room's coming along i got a new coffee table same old couch i love this couch it's really comfortable and that's uh the bed reclines it lifts it vibrates it does everything my tv so i'm happy the way this came out